All right. So it does look like you're processing some changes. It does feel like those changes whoops, may have nothing to do with you. It may be family members and is happening around you, but do affect you is what I am feeling. I lost the goddess Hera. So hope that's cool with the gods. <laughs> anyway, Ace, I mean, I'm Queen of Pentacles here. Um, pentacles are earth signs. If it stands for a woman or uh, an earth or person, that'd be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So these changes may be taking place because of a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But in general, when the Queen of Pentacles is here, she's very earthly. She's generous, good humored, and she's practical, very loving type of thing and very fair. So there may be a situation that is asking you to be fair, listen to both sides, uh, be practical in your outcome, and be practical and kind Fair with your words. So uh, if this isn't a person, this is a situation. And it does feel like because all this stuff is happening all around you, that you do have to take the high road. Don't get into it with anyone about kind of superfluous things that don't really matter in the long run. So just the high, take the high road, the practical road. Uh, what crosses you here is the Knight of Cups, and Knights are always asking, asking for action. Cups are really about uh, love and feelings. So you may be having some new feels due to this situation that is happening. And these knights, you know, they, they really dictate that we move forward. This can be messages of love as well, or even true love coming to you. It does feel like that you have made some changes on the love field. So maybe you've let go of a relationship that was not benefiting you or the other person. You may have recommitted or committed to a new person, but it does feel like there's some new feelings around love and some new commitment. So whether you're in relationship or not, it does feel like uh, you have made a new commitment to heal your heart. Let's put it that way. Heal your heart, whether it's with in tandem with someone, or if it's just loving yourself a little bit more unconditionally, sweet Aquarius. What is above you here? This is the two. This is the two of pentacles. This is um, looking for your balance. This can be material things, physical things, money. So you may be redoing your money right now. It is upside down. So there may have been some unforeseen uh, bills or unforeseen draws on finances, some kind of change in finances. So it does feel like you're trying to find the balance around that. So clean up your credit type of thing investing, uh, but it does look like it's a, a new space that was kind of um, dictated to you that you had it, had to do this out of necessity. It doesn't look like it was really a want or a desire to <laughs> eliminate some things, but it does feel like in the long run, it will get you a little bit more uh, um, static or a little bit more comfortable financially if you make these changes and reprioritize things in your life. What is in your past is the five of pentacles. You have a lot of pentacles here. So it does feel like you have had a lot of motion. You've had a lot of material things. You've had um, possibly communications and conversations with folks about some deep, heavy things. So um, this is kind of the fear card. I call this the old, broke, and alone. It's usually what happens to us right before we take a step into our greatness. We've got to, you know, take our own inventory and, um, you know, we are neither high flying nor low crawling. We are somewhere in the middle. So it does look like some of your fears, possibly your survival has come up in the, in the recent past. Uh, this may be with the shift of finances. You might have lost a job or, um, made a unilateral, um, decision or, um, some money strain has kind of put you in a little bit of fear uh, towards the future. This is in the past position, so it does look like something you are aware of and that you have processed or are processing at the current time. Uh, we also have a page of wands here. Pages are really about messages. Wands um, are fire and motion. So you've got a couple of things that really would like you to put a little motion into those ideas, sweet Aquarius. You guys really have um, 
a very ripe thought pattern, but sometimes you get stuck in there and forget the motion and kind of get stuck in the idea space. So it does feel like this page of wands is reminding you to keep things moving. And wands can be about an important message. I mean, pages of wands can be an important message about this current situation that you're dealing with. It may be around work and it may be around an illness in the family. It does feel like there is a little shift in the hierarchy. Um, power it feels like it's being reassigned. So there may be an elderly person in your family, the leader of your family that is no longer able to lead for whatever reason. So it does feel like you need to take charge um, of some things that are coming to you. So don't be afraid to step into that responsibility space. It does feel like it is your turn. Uh, but this can be about uh, a very important message about your current situation. Can be work, social, or family, depending on what this situation is for you, Aquarius. The magic man is here to remind you to be in touch with your intuition, to do your meditations, find your calm space, that you have a lot of practical magic, shall we say. So don't be afraid to tap into that. It doesn't necessarily dictate religion. It can be religion for, for many of you that walk down that path, but it's mostly getting in touch with the spirit within and trusting yourself, trusting the journey and um, finding that peace within your soul. So you can handle some of the next things that are coming up. So it does feel like new juggles are coming. Temperance here is kind of outlining that juggle, finding your balance again. So it does look like you may be spinning a little bit with this new um, set of criteria. And Temperance is really helping you find that calmness. The Magician's helping you find that calmness. So you may have enrolled in a meditation class or a yoga class or just picked up a self-help book. Can be um, counseling as well, but getting some tools to um, relieve yourself of stress as you take on these new responsibilities. And it doesn't feel like it's a choice to take on these responsibilities. It's a necessity. So someone in the family may not be able to sustain what they have been sustaining um, for many years. So um, it does feel like you are ready, willing, and able to uh, jump into this new position of authority and responsibility. It's just you're finding your balance within all this change. So you're doing a good job, Aquarius. The Ace of Cups is here. This can be um, the true love card, uh, soulmate card. It can be loving yourself as well. And Aces are like hands of God. This is things that come right out of the sky type of thing. So you may be recommitting to the one that you love. You may be ready to meet a new love. Um, it can also mean a birth of a child or um, a soulmate as well. So it does feel like some new things are coming up from your love space, whether you're clearing out some of the things that didn't work, incorporating new things in a current relationship, or you're um, connecting with a new love, but this can be the soulmate card. So you have two love stuff here. That's good. Um, next is the nine. This is the nine of cups. This does feel like that some feelings are coming up around family. This can also be the inheritance card. So there may be someone ill in your family and it doesn't necessarily mean you're inheriting uh, money. It can mean you're in inheriting knowledge, you're inheriting uh, physical property, um, or just someone's wisdom. But it does look like you are gathering information, that you are spending a little bit more quality time with family, making things a little simpler in your life. But this can very well be inheritance if you have a sick elder in your family, Aquarius. The culmination card or what this is all pointing to, this is the six of swords and this is feeling like um, you've kind of bitten off a lot recently. So you may have to float a little bit until some of the information comes to you before you make a um, an educated guess, 
guests are an educated um, resolution, but it does feel for a while you need to float and see where all the pieces land before you make a grand decision that will affect yourself as well as others. So hang in there, just float. And it does feel like somebody else may be driving the bus for a little bit, making some decisions. It's not a bad thing. Um, it does feel like you are sharing with this responsibility a little bit. So um, go ahead and float until some of those um, answers come to you. You get clarity on the situation. Um, on one side, I usually throw two for clarity on here. On one side um, is the four of cups. So you have a lot of feelings that are coming up. I'm seeing a lot of feelings. Now, you may not be sharing these feelings, Aquarius, but it does feel like you're going through this gambit of emotions within within yourself. It does feel like you were very disappointed recently about something, um, but there is something really good coming to you. It's right in front of your face here. So um, I know patience really isn't a strong suit for many. So if you can sit and be with it and let things be uh, revealed to you for your next step, your next uh, choice, but it does feel like a lot of your your future decisions are kind of put on hold till some of these this dynamic gets resolved. What is on the other side of this is the what is this? this is the seven? This is this the seven of wands? So it does feel like you're backed into a corner that you really can't make any choices until some of these things are resolved. It doesn't feel like it was created by you, but it does feel like it affects you. So this can be a family dynamic. Um, this could be shifting power within the family. All right, sweet Aquarius, that is your general reading for the month of September. If you like what you heard, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to throw a couple of these uh, chakra, chakra cards and these are kind of color coded to the chakras from top to bottom. So let's just pick this one out. So that one wants to come to service and growth. So it does look like you may be doing some service to others or service for the family, uh, for the greater good, can even be, um, you know, you might be working on a very large project at work as well that has something to do with betterment of mankind or betterment of others. So it does feel like your um, focus right now needs to be on service to others instead of yourself so much. And growth. You're right in the middle of a growth period. Everyone is because of all the retrograde planets. So you are not alone in this Aquarius. Just put one foot in front of the other and keep going.